Hey everybody, haven't done a video for a while due to me being sick. I think I'm finally over being sick. Thank goodness, right? That was horrible. Hope none of you are out there sick with all that upper respiratory stuff. It was horrible. Anyway, sorry about the lighting. We are in my bathroom today. Let's see if I can bring you closer. There we go. Hey. And so we are going to try to get rid of blackheads. I don't know about you. I know every woman has them. Some on your cheeks, some on your forehead, especially in the nose area. Horrible. And I have never found out a way to actually get rid of them. I have tried so many mixtures online that they tell you to do. And none of them have helped me. Maybe you guys have been lucky and found some that have taken away your blackheads. Anyways, it's pretty late at night right now. I think it's around 11. And it's Friday, but I'm a mom and I don't party. This is my party. Wash my face, you know, get ready for bed. So, we're going to start out by turning on water here. And you want to wash your face in warm water. Not hot, but the hotter you can stand it, the better because it opens up those pores. So, I am... I'm going to open my little scrub thing, face scrub things, here, and use oops, my um, scrubbing, face scrubber, scrubbing, if, you know what, that's not even it. Okay, so, got my face scrubbers open, and face wash. Here, and we're gonna do a face wash again. Use the warmest water you can use on your face. Oh, uh, it opens up those pores, gets them popping out, hopefully. And um, so let's do that first. Make sure to get that forehead. Under the lip, your whole face, get it washed. Especially with it being hot. Whew, you know, you gotta wash that face more than once a day. Especially if you got the greasy skin. You know, you gotta keep that face looking good. And a lot of you wear makeup and I'm not a makeup person, so what you see is what you get, as you've noticed, I'm sure. So I'm going to rinse my face with warm water. Hopefully get all those pores open. And I'm going to gently take this and just dab my face. Getting those creases where the pores are. <sighs> okay, so let's see if I can bring you up closer here. I don't even know if you can see. Sorry, see my pores here, but I have a lot of blackheads here in the side of my nose, especially. Those are moles here, but, um, I don't know if you guys can see them, but I have a lot of blackheads. So, <coughs> excuse me, still have the cough going on, so bear with me. And put my face wash back. So now that I got all that done, we are going to try this with glue. You know, hopefully it works. Because it would be nice to get rid of these blackheads for me. And we're just, this is um, not even Elmer's glue. You can use Elmer's. It's cheap dollar store 
glue that I bought my kids. Um, just in case we need it at home. Or I think we're going to use it. Because I should take the lid off, maybe. Yeah. I've never seen this. There's a cork in the glue. Hmm. I've never seen that in glue. So we will try to get that out. Oh, there we go. Got it. So now we're just going to take a Q-tip. Because I don't want to use a makeup brush. If you got a cheap one, it might be good. But I am not willing to ruin all of mine. I don't wear makeup, but I do once in a while wear makeup. So I'm going to put it all over my nose. And... Sorry about my silly faces. I'm probably making it's like women and trying to put mascara on, you know. Can't have your mouth shut for some reason. So I'm trying to at least get in here right now. <laughs> like, um, I don't really want to make it too thick, but not, I want to get out right now, but not too thin either. So, this is one of the things I saw, how to get rid of blackheads on your nose. So, as you can see, I got it on there, and supposedly now we have to wait to let it dry. So, go around, do what you need to be doing. I got that living room because you know it's a mess. You know the kids tore it up. Yeah. Put the dishes in the dishwasher. Sit and watch your favorite program that's on right now. You know, while we wait for this to dry. So, I will see you guys soon. Okay, guys. So, here's where I'm at so far. It is starting to dry there in the top, if you can't see. So, when it's all the way dry, we will try to pull, pull, take it off and see if we have any black hands or not. So, we will let it dry a little longer. And then, I will come back and we will see how it looks. Until then, I have to... Go finish picking up the living room, so I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so I cleaned up the living room. It's still not all the way dry. So I've been using this to fan. So I'm not sure it really works, but we'll see what we can do. I can't see. Some of it has dried some here. So, I'm going to try to see what I can get off here and what I can't. So, I would say that the whole glue thing does not work unless, <coughs> of course, unless you have more time to maybe let it dry. Um, you know, but it seems like it would take forever to let it dry, I think. Uh, I mean, seriously, forever, it seems like, right, at, at this point. Um, so, it, it's still pretty wet. I don't know if you can see my finger. Ugh, there we go. Still pretty wet. But, I mean, it is a little drier. It's just a little sticky. So, maybe even another five minutes. And it might dry, maybe. Or stand in front of a fan. Possibly. But, uh, as far 
I mean, it's just sticky. It's not dry at this point. See. Um, so, I don't know if I didn't put enough or just didn't let, didn't have the patience to let it dry on any type thing. But at this point, we're going to go ahead Ooh, I wash, try to wash it off. And, uh, try to try other things. I don't know how the stars don't, you know, when they do commercials, they don't make ugly faces like we do, right? Maybe they've had to practice, I don't know. But the stars are ugly faces, so. I don't know. Yeah. Just gonna try to wash this off. That way. See. Make sure I got <coughs> all of it off my nose. Now. <coughs> Excuse me. So, of course. Um. So, of course, when we're done, you know, wash my face twice. <sighs> Can't really tell. There's still some right there, it looks like. Blackheads. I don't think I can get any closer. But maybe you guys see it, I'm sure. Anyways, um, because it's been funny. I've always had people... You tell me, oh my gosh, your skin is so perfect. And I always tell them, I'm like, no, I have blackheads, I have craters. I call them craters. But nobody ever sees them. Well, now you get to see them up, pers up close and personally. So, I know a lot of you put daily lotion. <sighs> different lotions on your face and you put all this stuff which is cool um but what I find just plain old Vaseline gives it shine and I just use very little I don't know if you can see it and just and make sure to go up. You want to look younger, right? So, anytime you put anything on your face. Lotion, creams, <coughs> uh, Vaseline, whatever you put on your face. Make sure to go up. You want to look younger? Because if you go down, you're pulling the skin down. So, you always want to go up. Up, look younger. Up, look younger. Right? So, I don't put a lot of Vaseline. Ugh. And yes, it probably does. I mean, it still comes off. But use just a dab. You know. Oh. I know they say, just like everything, this is bad for you, that's bad for you. Everything's bad for you. I've heard Vaseline is bad for you because it goes into your bloodstream. But I guess see up, 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 make that chin look younger. And there you go. There's my skin for the night. And Vaseline is, I mean, if you don't mind using it, it's great for everything. Put it in your hair. You know, you're going to dye that hair, put it around the edges. You're going to do the perms, the relaxers. Put it on your scalp so it doesn't burn. You know, you got the frizzy ends. I like my frizzy ends. But Vaseline helps with those frizzy ends. Vaseline is your friend. <laughs> Excuse me. Learn to use it. Anyways, so, you know, but again, you know, I have so many pe people 
Tommy, my skin's so perfect. And, um, I wish it was. But again, you know, you can, you know, I don't wear makeup. You know, I really, I mean, other than washing my face, putting some cream on it, I don't do anything. But, you know, again, like they said, Vaseline's bad for you. The way I see it, everything's bad for you. They say everything's bad for you. So, I don't listen to them. I do me. That's up to you. You know, if you trust Vaseline. I mean, what do you put on your lips in the winter when it's chapped? What do you think chapped lips made out of? So, that's up to you again, but... <laughs> yeah, I got Vaseline on my lips. Anyways, thanks again for joining me. Sorry again that the glue didn't work. You know, if you guys try it, leave a comment below letting me know how it went for you. If it dried, how long it took to dry. Maybe I'll try it again. Thanks. Bye.